Hi guys, this is Jolt. In today's video, we are going to check out our water softener. This one in particular is called the Blue Soft E120 VR1. I'm not going to tell you all kind of technical details. Uh, if you are interested in, Google it and look for the manufacturer or any of the resellers. You will have all the details, all the cubic meters, all the liters, all the volts, watts, whatever you want to see. Um, we chose this one in particular because we are a family of four and my wife is washing day and night and also I use it for my hobby level car detailing which is not a business um, just to clarify it again uh, it's just a, a hobby usage it's more than an average household usage for the cars but I'm not a company so it's considered less however if you used it as a company you wouldn't have the normal day-to-day uh, -day usage for the family so it most probably it would be enough for your car detailing business anyhow i let the salt run down a lot however not completely so we won't see exactly the bottom of it um, but whatever you know nothing special you can see two 25 kilos sack of bag or bag of salts over there next to it um, for me one bag or one sack of salt lasts around two months i would say that at least that's my observation but obviously it depends on your settings of the softener i will put in the video some photos of my settings so in case you have something similar um, and you want to set it up yourself then that's how you can do those are the settings however for warranty purposes you have to call the well some authorized uh, technician who's able to um, set it up for you because obviously your plumber can install it maybe they can even set it up but your warranty would not be valid unless you paid a pile of money to an authorized technician who would um, sign off and stamp the warranty paper Anywho, let's have a look around. How is it installed? And then, well, all the pipes and such. And then we will open it up, look inside of it, and um, what else? Yeah, I will pour some salt in it. So that's how it is inside and out. Technically, there should be a filter connected in front of or before the water softener, but my plumber said it's fine without. And also the technician, the authorized technician who set it up said also it is fine. Nothing is going to happen to it without the filter. What happens is obviously the mains are connected to the softener and then it goes back to the house. Uh, I couldn't put it in the utility room because our utility room is jam-packed. Um, well, very bad, <laughs> very bad planning, and um, we obviously we didn't know that we are going to have all these machinery or equipment or utilities in the utility room when we design the house. So if you are just planning to build the house now, make sure you have ample amount of space and you have all the pipes um, properly designed, planned all the sewer connections because obviously you need to connect this to the sewer because as it is washing the uh what is it like sap something like a sap um with the salty water it needs to obviously push that water somewhere and it is going into the sewer 
Um, yeah, and you you should rather have more pipes and sewer connections available. You know, even if you just um, make them blank, then later on, you, um, just to avoid that you need to cut into the wall and yeah, it's it's not a fun. So we'd rather be prepared and then the worst case scenario, you're not going to use those pipes, but at least you've got the opportunity. The next very important point with this water softener is to keep it as far away from bedrooms and let's say living room or any other living areas where you are spending a lot of time as possible because it is rather noisy. I will just put a video here and we will see how much the microphone and the camera could pick up from this noise. For me, it is set up to work every Sunday down at around two in the morning and it runs the program to rinse the sap. And what else? Oh yeah, so it's blooming noisy, but also you need to make sure that you put it to a place where the pipes or the water in the pipes cannot freeze because obviously water goes through. For me it's in the garage but luckily it's never minus or sub-zero in the garage so it's fine for me. But yeah, make sure that you uh, have it installed somewhere where it's not going to freeze. Yep, so it wasn't completely empty, but it had only one or two rinses left in, with that quantity of salt that was inside. As you've seen, I poured the 25 kilos of salt within. Um, obviously, you need to keep in mind that you need to lift up these 25 kilos. It's not heavy, but obviously it's not light either. You can, of course, also use some sort of device or something to scoop it. The salt in it so you don't have to lift it but it's not a big deal you know just be ready be prepared you can put one sack or one bag of salt in it without any issues the second bag you would not be able to and also it makes no sense to pour like 50 kilos of salt in it because of what for and just another advice because obviously it would happen in a saturday evening when you cannot go to the shop to buy a bag of salt and obviously even if you could most probably it would not be available so it is always advisable to have one bag of salt somewhere next to the machine because obviously you're also not going to check it every day or every week how is it going with the salt level of course you don't even have to check every day depending on your settings because it's not going to use the salt every day it is going to use the salt only those days when it's set up to run the rinse program all right so mainly that was it about the water softener why is it good to have one um, obviously it as it is softening the water you don't have that much of lime scale in the water uh, so you don't need to clean your shower doors um, basins or sink or toilet that much as with the hard water because they are considerably or there is considerably less lime scale it makes all kind of shampoo foamier 
So you can use less of all kinds of shampoos or shower gels or car shampoos. Or if you use the same amount, then you have more foam. Um, also, it's good for the skin. It is really a nice feeling to take a shower with the soft water. It's like the rain, not as hard as the hard water. And what else? Oh yeah, I'm going to show you the difference because I've got a water softener, a water soft, a soft water tester. How is it called? Water softness tester, most probably. That's that's the one. Anyway, because uh, in the kitchen I have one of the pipes running with the normal hard water and everywhere else in the house I've got the soft water so I can show you the difference in between normally the water is super hard in our area so it's not very comfortable it's drying the skin and yeah it's much better to have it I know it's expensive but if you can afford it then I highly advise to have one so, as I said before, we are going to check the hardness of the water uh, with this BWT Aqua Test. I will have a separate video where I explain uh, what I'm doing. So that was it. We've seen that the soft water is number two level and the hard water is level 15. In case you might ask why do we have like hard water in the house if we have water softener already? The answer is simple. We tried, we tasted the water and we didn't like the taste to drink. It's fine. There is no issue with it if you want to drink soft water. It's just not as tasty. It's not making you feel like it's filling you and uh, also obviously if we cook anything um, with the same water that we don't like then obviously the taste of that um, meal or drink wouldn't be uh, as good either so instead we use the hard water in the kitchen for cooking and drinking or making tea or whatever and we use one of these water filter jars or jugs to to have like a less lime scale. Anywho, let's jump to the end of this video. Alrighty, so boys and girls, that was it about this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos. I'd like to say a big thank you for your time and catch you on the next one. Bye bye.